Dr. Jerry here with Mills Chiropractic and Wellness Center. And this month in June, we've really been focusing on headaches and taking a little bit deeper dive into the different types of headaches um, and what to do about them. And today, we're really just going to talk about um, kind of setting the stage for chronic headaches and then some strategies on how to reduce that. Now, we're talking specifically about headaches, but today I want you to understand that any type of pain um, kind of follows this guideline. So, you know, even if you're not a headache sufferer, I think you're going to get something from today. So kind of stick with me um, as we kind of move through this and we talk about strategies for treatment. Um, if you've noticed that your headaches are becoming more and more frequent um, or becoming more intense, um, that can be pretty troubling, right? And, and daily headaches can make life difficult, not only for yourself, but for those around you, right? It affects your work, it affects your home life, it really does affect everything. Now the good news is most headaches, and this, especially the most common one, which is tension type headaches, there are a lot of things that we can do about it. Now, of course, stress and tension are the two biggest reasons for a tension headache. Um, but chronic headaches, headaches that keep reoccurring, go through a process that's called sensitization. Um, it's a tough word to say, but basically it's, it's like anything that we do in life, the more we do at it, the more we do it, the better we get. And one of the problems, and especially as we move into chronic pain and understanding more about chronic pain nowadays, we understand that pain that we feel regularly, the brain actually becomes really good at feeling that pain. And sometimes the problem can resolve, but because we've practiced so much, that it just doesn't take much of a trigger in order for the body to have this cascade of events. And it basically becomes this very vicious cycle of, of practicing pain over and over again to where it takes less and less stimulation to drive pain and to drive those signals. And, and unfortunately, a lot of times tension headaches fall into this category um, because of whether it be bad posture or just life stress and we stop breathing from our diaphragm, we start breathing from our shoulders and we start to create this tension which then causes a headache that can be felt in the neck or the back of the head or around the front, generally both sides. You know, migraines are typically one-sided, but um, a typical stress headache or a tension headache, you know, is typically going to be more on both sides. And like I said, the neck or the back of the head, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the, in the neck um, at all, but that, that oftentimes there is. But anyways, you know, a lot of times it's because of these life events and over time our body gets used to these signals like if I feel this, the brain says, oh, I need to cause a headache. Um, and so it just kind of keeps that cascade going. Now what the research has really been showing over the last, you know, 50 plus years, but especially in the last 20 years as we've really dived more into chronic pain, especially with the opioid epidemic and everything else that's going on with, with chronic pain. Um, is that movement really is the key to rewriting the nervous system. Movement is what drives. So the brain gets so much information every second. It's estimated that it gets about six trillion bits of information and almost over half of that comes from the spine itself. And so most of the information that the brain is getting is coming from the spine. Well, if we're not moving or we're just hunched over, we're missing out on that information. And what ends up happening is the information that comes through is usually junk. It's pain, it's tension, it's uh, stress, it's, it's headaches, right? And so one of the best ways to treat a tension headache is through movement. Now, unfortunately, a lot of times what happens is we get so tight that we can't move as well. Those joints get stiff, they lock up. If we go back to my low back uh, discussion, we talked about how joints stiffen up over time and how much movement is such a key thing. Well, it's the same thing with headaches. The research really is getting moving. So whether it's yoga or any type of exercise or massage, or of course chiropractic, that's what we do is we drive that movement into the spine. And that's what actually helps hit that reset button on this chronic pain pathway that develops as we're also hopefully addressing the issue that led to the headaches in the first place, right? And so I, you know, I think it's always so fascinating that, that we help so many people with all these different types of headaches. And some of them aren't even structural types of headaches, right? Um, whether it be a migraine, which is typically more of a chemically induced uh, situation, but resetting that nervous system and driving neurology has that effect that it can reverse those vicious cycles that get started. So anyway, I hope you get something from today. The key is pretty much no matter what the problem is, movement is the key. So get out, get exercising, take your posture breaks, 
be aware of stress on the body and try to head that off before it gets to the point that it triggers another one of those vicious cycles. And if you're having trouble, of course, you know, talk to us about it. Send, um, refer patients to us that are struggling with this because next time, next week, I'm excited. We're going to finally wrap things up. Uh, we went a little long this month just because I like headaches so much. But we're going to talk a little bit about the common treatments for headaches and why that actually ends up being one of the primary causes of headaches, right? So it's um, so I hope you tune in next week for that. That's going to be kind of a fun discussion. So anyway, until next time, stay healthy, stay well. Mm-hmm.